Welcome to Highlight My Town. I'm Dan Edson with EXP Realty, and I'm here with Tom Wright, the Vice President of the Peculiar Chamber of Commerce. How are you? Doing well, and yourself? Pretty good, thanks. And we're here to talk about the Harvest Moon Festival, the Peculiar Harvest Moon Festival coming up. Tell us when this event is taking place. October 30th, that's Saturday before Halloween. We like to get together in the streets of Peculiar, hand out candy and do a few other things. And this year we're having our annual trunk retreat that starts at 10 o'clock. And we like to have a wide variety of opportunities for the family. So later on in the afternoon, we'll actually have a beer garden, a car show, and some other festivities that'll be taking place for the rest of the family besides the trunk or treat costume parade. So you have a lot to offer coming up on the 30th. Well, we like to do a lot of things that kind of touch a lot of different bases for the uh, people that live in Peculiar. Uh, Peculiar is an interesting town. Uh, I, I worked there and I've always said there was a, there was a reason I ended up in Peculiar, but uh, we won't go into that, but uh, uh, we like to be able to serve a lot of different varieties for the uh, people that live there. Uh, the kids are a big turnout always, and so where the kids come, the parents come, and usually the grandparents come along with them. So the Harvest Moon Festival has been a fall tradition in Peculiar for many years. How long has it been going on? I couldn't tell you exactly the number of years, but I'd say at least 15 or more. Uh, there's been different variations of this type of a festival taking place in Peculiar for many years. Way back when it was the uh, bushwhacker days and things of that nature. Uh, but we revitalized it here in the last few years and tried to incorporate a little bit more of a, a kid-friendly scenario. Uh, that's why we incorporated the trunk or treat idea. Uh, businesses get together, they decorate their cars or their vehicles, let the kids kind of walk through the city uh, dressed up in their costumes. We have a parade. Costume so, parade. Yeah, so if you're interested in uh, getting all dressed up on uh, October 30th, come on out with your, uh, you know, your special gift or special uh, costume. We do have a few adults that dress up. We had one of the uh, gentlemen who dressed up like a cow a few years ago, which was a little scary watching a <laughs> grown man walking around with a Holstein uh, cow costume on, but uh, uh, his wife said it was okay. So he was able to do that <laughs> without any problem. But the kids really like it. They get free candy. The parents get a chance to get out and gives the city a chance to show off some of the businesses that are in the community. So the Harvest Moon Festival has a lot to offer the kids from the uh, children's costume parade, the inflatables that you guys are going to have there, and also uh, you'll have a trunk or treat, you were saying, so a lot to offer the family and for the adults, the beer garden, the live music, the car show. Yeah, uh, one o'clock is kind of when the adult portion of the uh, festivities get started. We'll have a car show, uh, beer garden opens up at one o'clock. Actually, we'll run till nine. We'll have some live music from different bands that'll be uh, playing at different times. So it's an opportunity for a lot of people to get out, and hopefully the weather will cooperate, and we'll have a, a good turnout on that uh, October and uh, Saturday there at ten o'clock is when things get started. But uh, October thirtieth. October thirtieth. Uh, there'll be some things that'll be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, we've got this little haunted uh, run of some sort. Haunted which will, trail. Haunted trail. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what all is going to be on there, but uh, for those that like to wander through the woods, it might be a good time. Uh, the inflatables are always a good attraction for the kids. Uh, the live music gives the local bands a chance to show what they can do and uh, a lot of appreciation for their participation and things of that nature. So the Harvest Moon Festival is going to feature a cornhole tournament and of course a lot of local vendors. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the cornhole tournament obviously is something that's uh, come about in the last several years. I mean, it's, it's on television. There's, there's a professional cornhole league these days. So give a chance for people to come out and, and show their skills. Uh, I'm not as big of a cornhole player as uh, some of my friends are, so uh, I would probably be uh, more inclined to watch. Uh, some of the people would probably be in danger if I was throwing the, uh, the bean bags <laughs> around. But uh, we're looking forward to some uh, good competition out there for that. Uh, and then the vendors, uh, we've had a lot of people over the years who said, hey, if you're gonna have a festival, let us be a part. And so it's always good to have the local vendors come out, uh, show their skills with their uh, wares that they sell. Uh, vendors will be everything from you know someone that's making handcrafts to uh, items that they can have available to those uh, people that attend the, the festival so it'll be a good opportunity for everybody to have a chance to share and, and be a part of this community and I'm sure you'll have some food vendors there oh yeah there will definitely be some opportunities to uh, increase your caloric intake on that day <laughs> so uh, you know if you're gonna have beer you got to have food so uh, sometimes the two always have to go together and there'll be definite opportunities for that as well Fun for the whole family at the Harvest Moon Festival in Peculiar. Where is the festival going to be located at? It's going to be right there on the main and Broadway intersection area. Uh, there's a, Broadway's kind of the, the, 
the primary street for the trunk or treat, but the uh, vendors and the other attractions will be in that area right off of Maine. A lot of times where the people have gone to the farmer's market there in Peculiar, uh, you'll see that uh, just up the street from Casey's and the UMB Bank and the Community Bank of Peculiar. So it's right there on that main drag that everybody knows where Peculiar is. And if you know anything about the three-legged water tower, that's where all the festivities are. Right in downtown Peculiar. You betcha. Thanks so much, Tom, for coming out and uh, doing this video to highlight the upcoming festival. And I want to encourage people to come out and support the Peculiar Harvest Moon Festival on October 30th, Saturday, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Is that right? About 9 o'clock is when we're going to wrap oh, things up. Oh, 9 o'clock. Yeah. You got it. All going right. late that night. Okay. Great, so come out and support local, the Peculiar Harvest Moon Festival on Saturday, October 30th. Thanks so much, Tom. Appreciate it, thank you.